Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Big Man today, and today I'm doing a Star Wars Force Arena video, and this video, I'm pretty much going to be doing Darth Vader, Mr. Darth Vader himself. So pretty much, uh, the reason why I'm doing this video in specific, because a little sneak actually had asked me to do this, uh, to do a, uh, was it Vader or Paname? Unfortunately, I do not have Paname, so, but I do have 40th anniversary, or I do have a Vader, <laughs> level four Vader to be in specific. Uh, but real quick, I'm not gonna take credit for all the for the entirety of this deck because I did pull it from the rank because I was actually struggling to uh, ha make a good Vader deck. So straight up, what I did was I looked through until I found a Vader and pretty much, um, I mean, these are the top 200 uh, people on the dark side. So pretty much, just real quick, I'm gonna show you where I pulled this deck from and. Um, I get why, you know, this deck works. So I got this deck from Ed Meister. He's from the MMX Awakened. Uh, I want to thank him because pretty much if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be making this video. And this deck that he made is pretty awesome. So let's pretty much just show it. So Ed Meister, thank you. Uh, I kind of took your deck. I'm sorry. So, but pretty much what I'm going to be running is the ATST Walker. Obviously, this is for the pushing force. This is the damage. This is the tower. You know, uh, pretty much uh, first order tithe, which I'm actually considering using more and more, especially after I've used this deck. Uh, just seems really good because you're fighting against a lot of ATRTs, and this stops tower damage. So this is pretty good. Uh, I'm really getting a feel for this. And scout troopers, I remember when these guys came out. I like the idea of them, but I don't know for some reason they just seem too weak. Well, the purpose is actually just the debuff. Because they got the 10% decrease in movement speed and attack speed. And sometimes it could stack really hard and heavy. And it allows you to get that push that you really want. And for clear, obviously, it's going to be Sand Trooper. And it's going to be the Devarian Bladesman. And the First Order, right? Uh, first Order Stormtroopers. Apologies. Uh, pretty much, I mean, this, you know, obviously, Bladesmen are your damage. Let's, it's chunking. They've been gods since the beginning. First Order. I mean, I think anything in First Order nowadays is probably really good. It's probably some of the best card usage uh, points available. Man. Whatever. Pretty much, if you guys like this video, please drop a like and subscribe if you guys want more content. And drop a comment section down below, please. Uh, I guess I appreciate all you guys' comments. You guys are very nice. And um, like I said, I kind of stole this deck, but... Uh, that's because I was struggling to make a Vader deck, and uh, Ed Meister, my hat's off to you, my friend. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, let's get into this video. Alrighty, so wow, I'm actually going against the Poe. Believe it or not, I don't even... I think I've seen Poe... I may have like played Poe and ranked about two, three times. Like, this is not really an often event. So, yeah, he's level two. This guy's 14? Did he just do this by winning? Like, I'm curious on his deck now. Alright, so I'm going to pitch first the AT, uh, ATSC in the back, as usual. Okay, that's kind of what I expected. And... So pretty much, I mean, I'm just going to kind of have to take this. Okay, so then I'm just going to start, just going to bomb this. If I die, that's not a problem because he can't really do anything to kill this ATST. Look at this. Let me zoom out for you guys. Look at that. Oh, whoops. Oh, whoops. Too many. I mean, that was my push versus his push. Granted, he's using he's level 2 Poe. Uh, to be honest, I don't believe he can actually take this out. Oh, what do you know? He can. <laughs> so, I'm going to drop the Bladesman. And I uh, died for the cause. Well, the cause might have got me. I had been had. Okay, cool. Well, pretty much now we're at an even standpoint. Uh, Poe using pretty much every aerial ability that he's got to his power, which I don't blame you. I mean, that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, Pretty cool trick you got there, buddy. 
but I'm pretty sure we can push this one out. So I'm going to kick back ATST in the back again. Uh, he put his tank on a lane that's already pushed out. So I'm assuming he's going to go for the end. Pretty much backdoor it. Yeah. And there's another reason why you want to keep these. And so pretty much he'll clear it. I mean, this is the reason why I... I mean, I didn't make this, but... It's the reason why you would do this. Alright, so Poe's got, like, no base damage. Oh, this guy's just going for it. Oh, I actually targeted the other tower. Pretty much, he's got to defend these now. Okay, so let's go check out what our units are doing. And that's game. Unfortunately, he was level 2, and he actually almost had had me. But, not too bad. Okay, Luke. Okay. Alrighty, well, level 5 Luke. That's usually how I expect it to be. Level 12 Wookie, that's pretty high. I think mine's only 11, so... Definitely needs to put some time in his Wookiee. Uh, let's get my Devarian Troopers just to start generating some points. Um, okay, so we're doing this. Oh, yeah, they just have life them. Oh, you little bastard. And pretty much I'm getting, like, bobbed out by the sniper over there. So... Uh, fortunately, I can stack the slow, so it doesn't take out everything from me. Oh, of course. Man, did he just tank that all the way? Oh, you know what? I should have bombed the tower. Alright, I'm gonna dip out. So he did take whatever units I had left. Fortunately, the sniper is so annoying. Okay, so he is going to take my tower out. Really nothing I can do against that. Okay, so moving on to the next. Might as well just pick up the life. Here we go. Prepare the buttholes. So I'm thinking he's dropped another... Okay. Oh. Hopefully. And still one Devarian. So I got his tower pretty much because of the airstrike. Not too bad. God, let me just... Put all these guys down. There you go, super slow. And then blaster. Pretty much, this guy's just really going for like a siege thing. Kill the Grenader. Here we go. Slash. Slash. Pretty much killing this tower. Yeah, okay. This, this is the end of Luke. Oh, the, very, the Bladesman. He just walked up to me and said, What's up, homie? 
Ugh. He was like, ah. <laughs> all right, not too bad. Um, yeah, it is a Luke after all. Wow, really? That's an interesting deck to go, I guess. Oh, all right. Well, let's hit up the next one. Hmm. Alrighty. So it looks like we're going to be going against the Luke. Uh, I guess again. Uh. So what? Four? Okay. I expected level five. Um. All right. Well. Don't know how strong this man's deck is gonna be. So if he's gonna slow build, then I'm a slow build as well. So now he's like, oh dang, I gotta get that. Okay, so I'm gonna put these guys down. Pretty much. Oh, my airstrike didn't go out like I wanted. But. Yeah. Oh, stun? Not today, Uncle Ben. Alright, so I'm gonna split my troops up right now. Or tank? Oh, I thought I could tank it. Not too bad, pretty much. First order, as always, pushing the towers, pushing the lanes as they always also do best. These guys are strong. Okay. Deathmatch, father versus son. <laughs> Let's go, kid. It's hard to see in your little ass. I never wiped your diapers or took care of you. <laughs> Sorry. He's like, Dad, why have you never loved me? Alright. Pretty much. Uh, hopefully I don't, like, screw myself with this. And stun. God damn it, Uncle Ben. Yeah, instead this man watched over you for years. He didn't even say, just, he didn't even like you. He just looked at you for years. Freaking Uncle Ben. It's okay. Looks like we might be able to just push off on this tower. Uh, I'm gonna try to sandwich this in between. Okay, so the tank won't be killing it. But man, this guy attacks fast. Okay. Hopefully, just. There we go. Cool. That's my tower. That's all I need. Yeah, put your ass in the dirt, kid. <laughs> They need to put Return of the Jedi Luke. That'd be so sick. Oh, whoops. It flipped on me. Uh, was it Return of the Jedi? Where oh, he's got the all black. Pretty much how he looks like in Battle uh, Battlefront 2. Oh, I don't know why they haven't released a variant like that, you know? He was way cooler instead of this, like... I don't know. It's like this Obi-Wan outfit. I'm not saying Obi-Wan isn't cool. I'm just saying. I think Return of the Jedi Luke would be better. Alrighty, so if you guys like this video, please drop a like and subscribe. Um, I'll be honest, I have trouble playing with Vader. Uh, he's just too slow overall in this like kind of meta where, you know, we're still using, you know, what is it, uh, Anakin Skywalkers and, uh, I mean, even like Luke Luke is just a, he, he speeds off like a missile, okay? So. Alrighty, and I'd like to thank Lil Sneak for this. Pretty much wasn't for him. Uh, I wouldn't be making this video. And so... Uh, unfortunately, I struggle with Vader right now. I just can't make a deck work for me, personally. But, uh, I mean, this is a good deck, and I borrowed it from Ed Meister, who was in, what, MMX Awakened, I believe? So, you know, if it wasn't for him, I couldn't make this video. So, if you guys uh, like this video, please drop a like and subscribe if you guys want more Star Wars Force Arena content. Uh, thank you. Have a good day.